Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how you can model a realistic looking pool in Revit. So here we're just going to select architectural template. When it opens up, let's just create our pool at level 1. So we're just going to create a floor around our pool. So just a rectangle, doesn't really matter how big it is and the pool is here. Let's make it 10 meters by I don't know 15 meters. Now let's just switch to meters. UN for units and let's just pick meters here. Okay now we have basically the hole inside of which our swimming pool will be. Now we need to create a floor for our swimming pool, basically the swimming pool bottom. Again, go to floor, go to rectangle, and now I'm just going to set the offset with point 0.3, which is 30 centimeters, and pick this point, and pick the end point. So you can see it's overlapping by 30 centimeters. Now go to slope arrow, because every pool, or most pools are sloped, so we're going to be creating a slope that goes like so and then I'm just going to select this arrow and just add zero here for the level at tail I'm going to put minus one meter so this is the shallow part of the pool and for the deep part of the pool I'm just going to put minus two meters and I'm going to hit this finish arrow and when we go to 3D you can see our pool looks like that. So this is the shallow point, this is the deep end. Now I'm going to go back to level 1. I'm just going to use the wall command, pick out the 300 millimeter wall, go with the rectangle, and for the location line I'm going to be using finish face interior, and do just like that place it, escape, and go to 3D. Okay, this doesn't really look right, but don't worry. We're going to make it look right. So select all four walls, and let's just make the base constraint level 1 minus 1 meter, and the top constraint, let's just add 1 meter or 0. Okay, let's put 1 meter. Apply, minus one okay so there you go now let's just change this profile a bit for this one we can just pull it down here and for the, this one here we'll just pull it down to the pool and pull here just like that and for these two, we're going to need to edit the profile. So go edit profile, and then use the align tool to align to this lower level. Just remove the constraint and align it over here, like so. Remove constraint. Okay. Just delete this. Okay, that looks about right. Do the same thing on the other side. Edit profile, align tool. So the bottom part of the upper floor, remove constraint, do the same thing here, remove constraint, okay. So now we have basically our swimming pool, the only thing we need to add is water. So for this you're going to need to use component tool and model in place. So I'm going to select that, I'm just going to use the generic models and let's call this water. Okay, now set the work plane. I'm just going to select it, pick work plane, and I'm just going to pick this wall up here and go with extrusion and just go with pick lines. So pick this line, maybe this line over here, this line here, and this line here. Now we go to the trim command and we just trim it do the same thing here 
And there you go. Now we just check and we extend it all the way on the other side up to this wall here. Okay, now we have our water, but we need to add the material. Just go here, type in water, find it down here. Okay, now it's selected, apply, okay, okay, and finish model. So now we have our pool. Let's create just a quick camera. Go to level one. Camera looking like this. And for the target elevation, let's go minus five. Okay, that looks about right. And now when we go into ray trace, you will be able to see the water. So ray trace. And there you go. There's our swimming pool in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials. If you have any suggestions for further videos, leave a comment below. Like and share this video and as always, have a nice day.